Miss Amanda here. I have a joke for you. Okay. On the ark, Noah probably got milk from the cows, but what did he get from the ducks? Quackers. <laughs> get it? Quackers. That joke was so funny. What is something that makes you laugh? What is something that makes you cry? While you think about that, let's get ready to go see Jesus again on the mountaintop. We have our backpack, but how do we get to him again? That's right, we have to climb. Remember, there are many ways we can climb up the mountain. We can hike, we can use a rope, and we can scale the mountain using the rocks. Climb with me. All right, guys, you made it. Let's listen. Jesus says, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. In Jesus' time, and even sometimes in the here and now, crying was a sign of weakness. People were taught that it's not good to cry or be sad. I bet you've cried before. I know I definitely have. Why do you think people cry? That's right. Crying also shows we are brave and willing to feel sadness or pain, or maybe even feel someone else's sadness or pain. Tears and crying are important, especially when they are sad tears. Crying is also a beautiful way to connect to God. Did you know that God cries too? He does. And Jesus cried when he was here on earth. God cries for everyone. God's heart is so big. He holds all the pain of everyone hurting in the world. Jesus promises us that God will comfort us when we cry. I want you to take your hands and hold them like this. When you offer your hands or loving words to someone who is sad, you become God's comfort for that person. Isn't that cool? Crying together helps us become better friends and brings us closer to God. May I give you a blessing? All right. May God bless you when you laugh and when you cry. God understands all of your feelings. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the Beatitudes today. Thank you.